Welcome. Today we'll be going through IMO shortlist 1994 C3. Peter has three accounts in a bank, each with an integral number of dollars. He is only allowed to transfer money from one account to another so that the amount of money in the latter is doubled. Prove that Peter can always transfer all of his money into two accounts. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. Can you think of an algorithm that will decrease the amount of money in the bank account with the least amount of money? Hint number two. Can you think of a common algorithm that outputs a smaller value than its input or inputs? For sum a less than or equal to b, the remainder r from b divided by a is less than a. Can you apply something similar to the question? So if we have bank accounts with a dollars and b dollars, can we obtain a bank account with r dollars? Hint number three. Let the three bank accounts a, b and c have a balance of a, b and c respectively and without loss of generality, let A be less than or equal to B be less than or equal to C. Write B as B equal to Q times A plus R with R between zero and A. So R is just the remainder when B is divided by A. Hint number four. This question involves a lot of doubling when transferring money into bank accounts, which may motivate us to consider base 2 arithmetic. Consider writing Q in binary representation. So Q equal to 2 to the power of 0 times n0 plus 2 to the power of 1 times n1 plus 2 to the power of k times mk where each of the m1, m2, m3, all the way to mk, are either 0 or 1. Solution. Let the three bank accounts a, b, and c have a balance of a, b, and c, respectively, and without loss of generality, let a be less than or equal to b be less than or equal to c. We want to try and find a way to always decrease the minimum of a, b, and c until we hit zero. And when we hit zero, we are done, as that means we have transferred all the money into two bank accounts. Consider writing b as q times a plus r, where r is greater or equal to zero, but less than a. So r is just the remainder, when b is divided by a. Our aim will be to find an algorithm that will leave us with a bank account containing r coins, and then we will be done, as we will always be able to decrease the minimum of a, b, and c until we hit zero. Now, our aim is to transfer q times a coins from bank account b into the bank accounts A and C. When we transfer money from one account to another, we are doubling the contents of the lesser bank account, which motivates us to consider base to arithmetic or binary. So let's consider writing Q as two to the power of zero times N zero, plus two to the power of one times N one, plus two to the power of two times N two, plus two to the power of K times N K, where each M I is equal to zero or one, for each i between 0 and k. Then our algorithm is as follows. If m i is equal to 0, we transfer a times 2 to the power of i coins from bank account c to bank account a. And if m i is equal to 1, we transfer a times 2 to the power of i coins from bank account b to bank account a. This will ensure that Q times A coins are transferred from bank account B, leaving us R coins in that bank account. So we are just left to ensure 
that the algorithm is allowed, i.e. when we transfer money into bank account A, the balance doubles, and that we have the money in bank accounts B and C to do so. Clearly, the contents in bank account A will always double, as on the ith move, we transfer A times 2 to the power of i coins in it, whereas previously it contained A times 1 plus 1 plus 2 to the 1 plus 2 to the 2 plus all the way to 2 to the i minus 1 coins, which is equal to A times 2 to the i coins. And clearly, we can always transfer money from bank account B into bank account A by considering the binary representation of Q. So we are just left to show that we can always complete the transferring money from bank account C to bank account A step. But notice that C is greater or equal to B, and NK is 1 in the representation Q equal to 2 to the power of 0 times N0 plus 2 to the power of 1 times N1 plus 2 to the power of K times NK. So the amount taken from bank account C is at most A times 2 to the power of 0 plus 2 to the power of 1 plus 2 to the power of 2 plus 2 to the power of K minus 1, which is less than or equal to A times 2 to the power of K, which is less than or equal to B, which in turn is less than or equal to C. And so we can perform our algorithm to decrease the minimum of A, B and C, provided that minimum is not zero. And so we are done. We can always transfer Peter's money into two of the bank accounts. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time.